Imran Tahir took five wickets as Derbyshire finished the day strongly against Durham. Critchley was the standout performer on day one at Chesterfield, scoring a fine hundred, which was backed up well by Madsen and Godelman. Godelman and Sandu put on an unbeaten 10th wicket partnership of 66 runs in the evening session, and the pair continued to frustrate Durham as they pushed the score along on day two. After a brief rain interruption, Derbyshire managed to secure a fourth batting point, taking the score past 350. Godelman and Sandu managed to bring up their 100 partnership, but both batsmen failed to reach their next personal milestones, as Godelman edged behind off Coughlin two runs short of a century, Sandu stranded on 46 not out. A wonderful effort from the final pair and a frustrating innings for Durham. Richardson and Steele got Durham's first innings underway and batted for six overs before lunch. The score 13 without loss as they returned to the middle, the Durham pair batted steadily. The pair took their opening stance to 50 and looked to push on but gifted a wicket to Derbyshire as a mix-up between the wickets brought Steele's innings to an end, out for 21. That brought Burnham to the crease who batted confidently from the outset. He raced the score along with Richardson to give Durham some momentum. The Derbyshire attack persisted though and Tahir got the breakthrough, dismissing Burnham for 35, ending his 64-run partnership with Richardson. Three overs later, Derbyshire's young spinning star Hamadullah Kadri joined the wickets to send Richardson on his way for 64 and the visitors were in a vulnerable position. New batsman Clark and Collingwood managed to bat through until T though, the score 133 for three during the break. It was a horrible start to the evening session for Durham, losing Collingwood in the first over, bowled by Tahir for four. Derbyshire had a double strike when Pringle departed in the next over, LBW to Sandu for one. Coughlin and Clark then combined to add a quick fire 26 in the next five overs. However, Clark was the sixth wicket to fall when he was LBW to Tahir for 18. Pointer joined Coughlin and they provided a measure of stability after a regular flow of wickets. The pair put on 42 for the seventh wicket before Tahir struck again, Palladino with the catch, pointer out for 20. Tahir was then on a hat-trick when he removed Potts for a golden duck. McCarthy was the new man in and proved excellent support for Coughlin to take Durham to close without further loss. The pair put on 69 together in a valuable unbeaten ninth wicket partnership Durham went to stumps on 274 for 8, still trailing by 94 runs, but it could have been much worse if not for Coughlin and McCarthy's late stand. Imran Tahir took 5 for 98 to put the hosts in the box seat and they'll look to press home their advantage when play resumes on day 3.